Hello, welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on a custom Firebird from the Sweet 16 collection. I realize we haven't resurrected anything in a while, so I thought maybe, maybe we should do a couple of these before we get back to our uh, 3D printing, etc. So we got a little custom Firebird here, in bad shape. It's a little bit chipped up, missing glass, missing a couple wheels. But overall, it's pretty decent. So with this one today, I think we're going to do a pretty basic restoration. You know, these have a lot of value. If these are in like mint condition, they can fetch up to like $300. So I don't want to go crazy and custom painting the interiors and everything like that. So, you... so we're going to do a Spectra Flame paint job. And this thing has already been drilled or possibly ground. Didn't do a real nice clean job on it, but... It's probably salvageable. This came in that big bulk purchase I bought off eBay when I first started the channel. Oh, we're missing a steering wheel. This is in pretty good condition here, so it should be a pretty, pretty basic restoration. So we'll just start by getting this body stripped. I didn't get a picture of it. And it's gonna be a few more days before we get back to normal getting a new furnace put in here so you just have to bear with me for now oh no falling apart this morning here that was easy I was thinking maybe we could live stream Saturday night. And that'll just be me on Tinkercad messing around, designing some stuff to use in the upcoming videos. So if you guys want to hang out with me and do that, I should have the time posted by Thursday. How about that? This is probably good to go for a little cleanup. Everything looks like it's loose. Yes. Yes. I'm going to go give this little scrub with some soap and water and I'll be right back. We can start polishing this bad boy. So as you can see, this thing's in pretty good shape, actually. Don't look at me. So we're going to get polishing here. We're going to use one of these. And we're going to use some of my metal glow today, I think, instead of the old flits. Actually, before I polish, I'm going to do a little bit of sanding on this thing. It's a little bit rough. Just gonna use a little bit of Scotch Bright. And we're just gonna even out all that zinc so it looks like this. So we've got a little bit of a casting flaw here, as you can see. That's typical early red line. There's not much you can do about that. A lot of people think we can just throw these in the zinc plater and it's just gonna fill that up, but the zinc goes on so thin that you gotta learn the techniques of uh, filling that with lead. And then replating it. That that probably worked, but as far as putting putty on that, we can't because the whole idea of these red lines is we use a, a see-through paint over a polished metal, and that's what gives them their flashy shine. So we can't use any kind of putties or bondos, nothing like that. So unless you can fill whatever damage you have with metal, we're kinda kinda out of luck. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. That's what we want. A nice even tone on our zinc. So I'm gonna go ahead and start polishing here. People always argue in the comments that just using this alone is just as effective as using a wire wheelie and polish, but you need to trust me. I'm a doctor. I 
All right, so that's looking really good at this point, but we're gonna go the extra mile and throw our polishing wheel back on and give it a quick once over with that. And we should have a nice, clean, tasty base. So there's our base, that's looking really good for, when did these come out, like 1967? Very nice. So we just gotta pick out a color here. I've got a few to choose from. So I'm thinking maybe with this uh, interior color we got going on, maybe we could do a nice olive color. Just gonna make sure that they came in that color. I don't wanna use a color that wasn't ever used on a Firebird. Red, blue, and olive were common. Gold, copper, purple, green, orange, aqua, creamy pink, super rare. Ooh. All right, so the red line guide said that the blue that this was originally done in was common. So replacing it with another common color, I don't think is, there's nothing wrong with that. So there isn't much else that would go with this interior other than the olive. So I think that is gonna be a decent color choice. And I got a windshield here somewhere. Let's see how this windshield fits while we're here and surprisingly it fits pretty good so yeah I'm gonna meet you in the spray booth all right so the first thing we're gonna do is just mix up some regular automotive 2k urethane clear coat and we're gonna add our olive to our regular clear coat I guess, you know, bottoms up. I'm gonna wear a mask, the stuff's pretty nasty. You know, I thought it might be fun doing an old restoration like this, but to be honest, this is just so basic that I'm hardly even enjoying it. I feel like we've grown past basic resprays like this on the channel. So I don't know how many more of these real easy ones we'll be doing. It only feels like half a video, really. Okay, so we need some wheels. I got to paint... Touch up our little grill. It's gonna need a couple little coats here. The old wheel supply is getting low. I guess we did too many of those when the channel first started. And I mean doing these red lines is what started the channel to be honest and that stupid pink van video I have a lot of these big wheels so might as well start to use them um, hell yeah man and let's put this little thing together well that's basically it so you can see what I mean now that flash you're seeing right now that's not paint that is the metal body below the paint so that's why you can't use any kind of primer or anything so a lot of people always ask anyways we got to do some tail lights here really starting to swear by these Gundam markers these things are just amazing boom the coverage is incredible so there we go, that is our Firebird Sweet 16. It's looking pretty good actually. Not bad at all. Much better than it was anyways. I don't think there'd be any other color that would kind of go with that interior. Maybe the root beer brown would probably have been alright, but I don't know. I think it looks good. So that's a very basic restoration on a very basic red line. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. 
Next video is going to be pretty intense, so hopefully you stick around for that one. Subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Burp.